Today we are going to see about uh, grid connected PV system with the Zeta converter. That Zeta converter will be connected in between solar PV panel and uh, inverter. Okay. So this Zeta converter is used for step up the voltage from PV to the DC link of that uh, invert okay that means uh, this PV right so here you, you can see that we are having uh, PV array the PV array the single string uh, string having a 10 series model and then total 47 parallel string and uh, each panel have a maximum power of uh, 213.15 watts and then uh, Voltage at maximum power point is 29 volt and current at maximum power point is 7.35 amps and then it can supply maximum up to 100 kilowatts right mean 100.2 kilowatts okay so here you can see that the voltage of the PV at a standard test condition is 290 okay so here we are going to connect this inverter right that means we are going to connect this PV to the grid uh, that means here we are using 400 volt to 50 hertz uh, grid okay so then we need to uh, maintain this dieseling voltage around uh, 600 volt so here we have 290 volt so in order to boost the voltage from 290 to 600 volt so here we are using zeta converter the zeta converter will be work along with the mppt algorithm in order to extract the maximum power from the pv as well as the boost, the boost the voltage from 290 to 600 volt okay so here you can see that this is a zeta converter structure so here we are using zeta converter so the zeta converter uh, l1 l2 and uh, the c value will be calculated based upon the pv power and then uh, terminal voltage of that uh, pv and then the dieseling voltage so based upon this value so you have to design that zeta converter so here we have that uh, the design of zeta converter so so this is a design equation we have, we used this for uh, calculating the value of l1 l2 and c1 okay uh, once you executed this one so this is a value we, we got for L1, L2 and the C1 for zeta converter okay so this is standard equation used to for uh, design that the uh, value of L1, L2 and C1 value of zeta converter okay so after calculating that value so that value will be used to here and then here we are applying that uh, uh, incremental conductance MPPT so which is going to be used to for uh, extract the maximum power from the PV panel by adjusting the duty cycle of this zeta converter okay so for that here we are measuring the uh, PV voltage and PV current and then it will be processed via this incremental conductance MPPT so here you have to provide some uh, initial uh, details like uh, initial duty cycle, maximum duty cycle, minimum duty cycle and small change in uh, duty cycle and then you have to in slice the uh, value for previous voltage power duty cycle and uh, current and uh, m value and then you have to calculate the power the change in voltage, change in power, change in current and then based upon uh, the change in voltage condition change in current condition you have to uh, decrement and increment the duty cycle so based based upon the incremental conductance condition so you have to decrement and uh, increment the uh, duty cycle uh, then you have to overwrite the duty cycle that will current duty cycle with the previous uh, duty cycle voltage power and current okay so this will be keep on executing in order to get the maximum power from the PV panel that means uh, that incremental conductance in PPT keep on changing the duty cycle so you have to extract the maximum power from the P panel okay so after that uh, duty cycle the duty cycle can be compared with the sawtooth waveform 
so here we are getting the pdl impulse so that pdl impulse going to be control this sita converter hgbt you have to extract the maximum, maximum power from the pv panel and also the boost the voltage from 290 to 600 volt okay so this is the first uh, conversion that mean uh, this is known as a uh, double stage conversion model so first this is known as first conversion like a dc to dc conversion so next we go for a uh, dc to ac conversion so second stage conversion so this inverter going to be controlled by means of uh, uh, voltage and current control concept so here we are applied a uh, uh, feed forward uh, decoupling control concept okay so for that we need to uh, convert that convert that abc quantity of the the grid voltage and inverter current into dq form so for that we need to apply power transformation okay so in order to apply power transformation we need uh, omega t so omega t nothing but uh, the phase angle with respect to time so that phase angle with respect to time calculated by using PLL so here you can see that so this is PLL so in order to apply P, uh, in order to execute that PLL so we need a alpha beta quantity from the ABC quantity right so here you have to measure the grid voltage so that will be converted into alpha beta so based upon this alpha beta so here we are applying that uh, PLL phase locked loop okay so from that we are getting the omega t so this omega t is going to be used to for uh, converting that uh, abc quantity into uh, dq0 quantity so this that omega t will be used here in order to converting that alpha beta to zero uh, uh, alpha beta to dq okay so here we are getting vdvq in the form of dq and also here we are applying that uh, power transformation for converting uh, abc into id and iq okay so first process you have to convert that uh, grid voltage and the inverter current into dq not form okay by applying the power transformation so for that we need a uh, omega t so for uh, for that omega t we need to use pll okay so next process uh, you have to apply voltage control method so here we are only sending the a real power to the grid via this inverter okay so whatever power generating from the pv so that will be given to the grid the form of real power so we are not sending any reactive power to the grid okay so for that here we are using the voltage control method so this voltage control so for that you need to measure the the dieseling voltage so the dieseling voltage is going to be compared with the that is reference dieseling voltage so, so here we are going to maintain the reference dieseling voltage is equal to 600 after that it going to be compared with the if an actual and then it going to be processed via pa controller so this pa controller will be control the dieseling voltage as well as it going to be generate the, the reference current in the form of id okay so id reference okay so it will be generated id reference so this id reference will be compared with the actual id okay and then it going to be processed via pa controller so this pa controller known as a current controller so here this this pa controller will be control that id of that inverter okay so after that here we are applying that feed forward decoupling control concept okay so next process so here we are not sending any reactive power so that's why here we are taking uh, the iq reference equal to zero because we are only sending the real power so we are not sending reactive power and then this iq reference will be compared with the actual iq and then going to process via pa controller so this pa controller will be control this iq and then this is known as a feed forward decoupling control equations so after applying that after applying voltage current current control and here current control so finally after applying this feed forward decoupling control concept so here we are getting the, the control voltage okay so this control voltage in the form of vd and vq okay so that vd and vq going to be converted to actual form by using inverse power transformation so after applying inverse power transformation so here we are 
comparing with the triangular wave so you have to generate the pulse for that uh, three phase inverter okay so this pulse going to be control this inverter so control this inverter in order to send the power from the pv to grid the form of real power okay and then here we have that uh, lcl filter so this filter used to for eliminate the harmonics from that uh, invert okay so because we are uh, using pdlm generator so definitely it have some harmonics in the current so in order to eliminate that harmonics so we have to use some filter so here we are using lcl filter and finally we have that grid so grid is 400 volt 50 hertz grid okay and then here we are measuring the grid voltage and the grid current or the inverter current and then here we are measuring the real power of the grid what our power and that mean how much power we are sending to the grid from the pv so that little we can measure it here right and here we are measuring real power that mean <coughs> so pv power okay so in this scope and then now i am going to operate this system with the varying irradiation condition so for that here we have created uh, the change in irradiation from 1000 to 800 800 to 500 okay so from 0 to 0.4 second the irradiation will be 1000 from 0.4 to 0.5 uh, the irradiation will be changed from 1000 to 800 after 0.5 to 0.8 the irradiation will be maintained at 800 from 0.8 to 0.9 the irradiation change from 800 to 500 from 0.9 to 1.2 irradiation maintained to 500 and then you have to check the result of the uh, pv power and uh, grid voltage and current and then grid power okay for this condition and also we are going to check the, the harmonic level of grid current during change in the irradiation condition okay so now I am going to simulate this uh, uh, model and then you have to check the results so here you can see that the PV power is maintaining at uh, 100 kilo, kilowatts right for 1000 watts per meter square and also here you can see that so grid power is around 1000 sorry 100 kilowatts right so pv power maintained at 100 kilowatts so grid power also 100 kilowatts so this is a grid current so i am going to so here you can see that uh, grid current is having pure sinusoidal waveform and then here you can see that now that irradiation change from 1000 to 800 because of we are getting around 80 kilowatts right and also grid power also we are receiving around 80 kilowatts so here the you can see that grid current so grid current nature will be sinusoidal and then here you can see that irradiation change from 800 to 500 okay so here you can see that grid power change from 80 to 50 kilowatts so and also pv power change from 80 to 50 kilowatts and then you can see the changes in the uh, grid current grid current nature also sinus error and then you can see the changes in the grid current right peak value of grid current by changing irradiation condition right you keep on reducing right so whatever power we are generating from the pv right so that will be given to the uh, grid okay so next time i'm going to analyze the tht of the grid current so so for that just go to go to click continuous and go to tools and go to fft and then here you go to choose iabc and then I am going to select 50 hertz maximum frequency is 1000 and then same as maximum frequency and then click display so here you can see that we are getting around 0.42 percentage only 
and then I'm going to change the timing 0 0.9 0 0.7 and check the result this is around 0 0.25 percentage only and then I'm going to change to 1.1 so here you are getting 2.35 percent right so the TH3 is less than 5 percentage only okay and then uh, by using Zeta converter we are boosting the voltage from uh, 290 to 600 as well as we are extracting the maximum power from the PV along with the incremental conductance in the PD. So this is the working of this model. Thanks for watching our videos. Kindly subscribe to the channel and also click bell icon for notification about upcoming videos. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye bye.